Thunder Arm Dragons and Gladiator Beast Tri Brigade. What a video. All right, we have Arm Dragons for the first part of the video here. So make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more excellent content. We're on our way to 90K, baby. All right, so the first list we have is Arm Dragon actually featuring frickin' Dragon's Bind. All right, activate by targeting one dragon type monster you control with 2,500 or less attack and defense. Neither player can smash some monsters with attack less than or equal to the original attack of that monster. And when that monster leaves the field, destroy this card. Now this is a little bit of an interesting tech choice here that Josh Thomas was playing. A good friend of mine reached out to me and said, hey Robbie, been having success with this deck locally. He's like, I just won my first local with this. And I'm like, holy mother, it's armed dragons. All right, so we're gonna use dragons bind here with something that has 2,500 or less attacks. So what meets the quota for that? Uh, so this is 1,200, 2,400, and 2,800. So we can actually put this on our Armed Thunder. Uh, we actually put this on our Tempest 2 here. Um, and then we can just force them to not be able to play the game. It's actually a really cool stun card. So, all right. <laughs> hmm. Dragon's Bind. I didn't actually think I would uh, consider that as a tech choice. So we have two copies of Armed Dragon White. So in order to summon this, you have to banish Armed Dragon Monster from your heal field and or graveyard whose total level equal 10. So I'll still summon this card from your hand and then you can add a White Veil to redact your hand. You can only use this effect of Armed Dragon level 10 once per turn and you take no effect damage. Now the White Veil down here, when while equipped, or while equipped in the monster battles, your opponent cannot activate spell or trap cards until the end damage step. And when an attack is declared involving the equipped monster, face up spell and trap cards your opponent controls have their effects negated till the end of the turn. Uh, when the equipped monster destroys the opponent's monster by battle, you can destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Uh, while this card if face up is sent to the field, that player takes 3k damage. Ugh. But that's fine. We're not too worried about that. Now, Arm Dragon Thunder level 10. This is the reason that this deck is able to be played. So, this card was special by the effect of an Arm Dragon monster gains a following effects based on its attack. So, plus one, its name becomes Arm Dragon level 10. Cannot switch its control for a plus 10. Plus 100, cannot be destroyed by battle. Plus 1000, quick effect. During the opponent's turn, you send one card from hand to the graveyard, target one other card on the field, and destroy it. And this gets another permanent 1,000 attack. All right, well, that's uh, really good. And then once per turn, at 10,000 plus, you can destroy all other cards on the field. So you're just going to get all of these effects right off the bat here. And then you got to work for the last one, but that's fine. All right, this thing is a monster. And then our whole little gimmick with this deck... The engine allows you to discard cards to level up. It was the rework to the level up system that we really needed uh, for, say, a deck like this. I think they did a really good job at that. So we have three level three, triple copies of level five, and triple copies of level seven. And then the backbone, all right, the thing that helps this deck is the artillery catapult Turtle. So you can tribute one monster, but also summon one guy, the Fierce Knight, or one level five or higher dragon monster from your hand or deck. You know what the uh, the armed dragon level five is? He's a level five monster. So we can just do this as a starter to go into our combo and start our day, which is actually really nice. We also have triple copies of Ash Blossom. We need some sort of defense hand trap. That's right. That's one freaking Miradora. All right. Like, I don't know. Uh, how often this came up for Josh, but when I saw this on his list, I was like, you mad lad, you're actually doing this. We have one copy of Lightning, triple copies of Gamma, one copy of Tempest, one copy of Driver, one copy of the Blitz, triple copies of the Emergency Teleport for this deck, which is actually really good. Two copies of Armored Dragon Lightning, one Called by the Grave, one Gold Sark, one Monster Reborn, triple extra, because we're going to need that draw power. One White Veil, and triple copies of the Dragon's Bind. I do really like this card. Like, this seems really gimmicky uh, for this deck, but honestly, if you can execute this, you're going to stun your opponent out. All right? Extra deck down here. We have one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Cerberus. Basic stuff. Triple copies of Heavenly Spheres. 
Triple Cobb is a Juggernaut Libby. Triple Cobb is a Gustav Max. One Gengdari, one Cobb Big Guy, and one Draco Sack. Man, that's a nice little throwback there. Side deck here with Triple Lancia, Triple Quacky Mary Draco, Triple Copies of Nibiru, Triple Copies of Twin Twister, and Triple Copies of Solemn Judgment, wrapping up Josh Thomas's list for everybody. Actually, this is really freaking cool, all right? Next up, we have a little bit more excitement for you guys. We have Gladiator Beast Brigade. Yeah, I know, it's it's amazing. Like, you can literally play anything with this, and you can find success with this. This was been sent in to me from Benedict Cool. Or Cool, ah, oh, man, I'm really bad with names, and I apologize for that. So, the whole aim of this deck is to end on Domitus, Heraclinos Tamer Editor, and Barrier Statue with a Samorg Link. All right, so you have a spell and a monster negate and control the battle phase, so your opponent can't beat over the statue. Uh, I, I I do agree, I, I did find this quite interesting, Benedict. So what kind of contraption, like what, what, what's, what are we going with? Because we need to end on Heraclinos, Tamer Editor, Domitus, Barrier Statue with Samorg. So, Mr. Tamer Editor here is two level five or higher Glider Beast Monsters, which you're not going to need to worry about here. Must be special summon from the extract by shuffling the above card to control into the deck. Cannot be used as fusion material. Once per turn, special summon one Glider Beast fusion monster from your extra deck, except for Tamer Editor, ignoring summoning conditions. At the end of the battle phase of your Glider Beast Monster battle, you can shuffle that monster into the deck or extra deck and special summon a Glider Beast Monster. All right, so yes. So this is going to get us Heraclinos, which is an Omni, or a Spell and Trap Negate. Um, poor guy for his error, he wasn't uh, very good. Uh, the one other thing here I do want to point out here before we get too far into this. He said, important note, Augustus is fine at two. It only bricks when you have two Augustus in hand. Uh, and he said that there was no issue ever coming up um, with this. So that is something to understand that you can get away with playing the two. So... We have one copy of Storm Winds, one Autorox, two copies of Augustus, one copy of Besticles, one copy of a quest. This is our generic searcher, by the way, our breaker, and then this fat extender. Uh, we have the one copy of Vesparius, one copy of the Apex Avion. Hmm, it's almost like we can have more generic negates. Triple freaking copies of Rescue Rabbit because you know crap's gonna get serious when you bring out two Atondles on your opponent and your opponent's just staring at you going, Glads, really? Yeah, and you just get like full comboed. We have triple copies of Test Tiger, triple copies of Frock Doll, because you know how good this thing is, two copies of Keras, and then only one kit and one Nerval. You don't have to go too crazy. Uh, with this engine, the basic level of this is absolutely fine. And then, of course, we have triple copies of a Tondal. Spells, we only have two Tengi, which is fine. Triple copies of Glare Beast come back, so from a Glare Beast monster for hand or a graveyard in defense position with a different type from the monsters you control. That's no problem. Triple copies of Proving Ground, our old searcher. Then we have two copies of Rejection, so your opponent cannot target Glare Beast monsters you control card effects except during the battle phase. Every Glare Beast monster monsters with special summon from your main deck, except during damage type, special summon one Glare Beast monster from your deck with a different type from the monsters that you control. Ah, this is our other, other extender for this deck, plus protection during main phase one, which is quite nice, actually. We have one Monster Reborn, two copies of Talents, two Unexpected Die, and one copy of Yield World Legacy Succession. Wrapping up the main deck here. Extra deck here, we have one Shurag, one Frigget, two copies of Test Panther, one Samorg, one Link Spider, one Dragas, or G D Goris, and Mr. Glayer Beast Link Monster, one Access Code, uh, two Tamer Editor, this card's probably the best thing we have going for us, one Heraclinos, two copies of Geyserus, and two copies of Domitus. All right. And then inside deck here, we have triple copies of Lancia, triple copies of Drone Lockbird, triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, Triple copies of Forbidden Droplet and triple copies of Lightning Storm, wrapping up Benedict's Gladiator Beast 
Brigade deck prof uh, profile, or Glad Brigade, I think that'd be the, the better name for it. So I, I know there's a lot of cool decks and stuff that players are exploring right now, but I want to ask you guys, what do you think about all this stuff? You know, ban list or not, like, both of these decks will still be 100% viable as long as all things go well. But what do you guys think? Please, leave a comment down below, comment what you guys think. Make sure you guys smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more cool, awesome deck profiles. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more cool, awesome content. Have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Trouble Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanCole40 for all of your Cardfight Vanguard content brought to you by MCole40. And... If you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcoolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.